but I just picked up a salad real quick from Chick-fil-A. Um, this is their spicy chicken Southwest salad. Um, and yeah, I'm, I've been eating it, so yeah. But I just wanted to show you real quick what was for lunch on the menu today. Because you know, you know how we do. But I just felt like something light in the salad. And the salad was going to fill me up just fine. So I'm about to have this. And I got my H2O, my water. Um, hopefully I can work out tonight. That is definitely the plan. Okay. Hey y'all, sorry. Yeah, as I was saying, hopefully I can work out tonight. Um, that's definitely the plan. I am worn out work has been a lot today it's been a real long day and we're not even done it's just lunchtime and it's gonna be a long afternoon i already know hey this so before i wrap up today's vloggy vlog i just wanted to jump on the camera real quick because i did want to talk to you guys about something that um has been in the news and everyone's been talking about recently so i just wanted to bring and give you my two cents real quick on that topic and i may cover it on um battle of the sexes or something or in a live i'm not too sure yet but basically what happened is genie my um made a statement on the real and she said that she does not she wants to be a submissive wife to her husband and if you google it i mean not google it if you youtube it and search it you'll see the comments of what she said in its entirety um i'm not going to enter any clips i just don't enter clips in my videos of what people say just because of copyright issues and things like that so i'm not going to enter it but if you search for it i'm sure you can find it maybe i'll link it in the description box or something um but she basically was saying her stance on the whole submission thing and that how you know well, the ladies were all talking about how being submissive to a man in a negative is kind of like a negative thing. And Jeannie said that how she is an independent woman and she's she can take care of herself and she does everything for herself um, in her personal life and what she does on a daily and things like that. And so when she has her man, her husband, Jeezy, is Jeezy? I think his name is Jeezy. I forgot who she's getting married to. But anyway, um, when she, yeah, it's Jeezy. Um, when she gets married to him, she wants to be a submissive wife to him and to allow him to lead. So she said, now that doesn't mean that she's necessarily going to give up all her rights and all, all her opinions or anything like that. But she will still say, for instance, if their money is going to a certain thing, she still wants to put in her two cents. And then he will make the decision or the best overall decision for the two of them after hearing her out and what he has to say if it's not exactly on the same page then he will come to like a happy medium and you know that she will let him fall she will let him lead and she will follow and that's the type of marriage that she wants she wants to follow her husband and allow him to take on that role and she wants to be more submissive when it comes to her relationship only because she's a very dominant woman in the world um, so I, uh, I can agree and I can see where she was coming from with that because I do believe that you have to, that I think submissive is the wrong word because it just kind of makes you sound like kind of, and then it's like, you know, the, anyway, BDSM type stuff, you know, but, um, <laughs> I mean, so this, I guess, isn't necessarily the wrong word, but at the same time, it's like, okay. Now, yes, I think a lot of us women want our men to be the providers, but she was saying that she is a provider too, but, um, and to be the head of the household, as men are supposed to be, you know, and I agree with that. And I do agree that us as women, in a, in a way, um, we learn our roles, we know our roles in this world and i think that a big part of relationships and why they work is um yes you can be a strong independent woman 
and I'm not bringing this back up for any type of live situations, but I'm just saying, yes, you can be a strong, independent woman, but there are times in when you can not be so independent and be a little dependent, okay? And in your relationship, all of us know men love us. Men love for us to stroke their egos. And you want you don't want to make a man feel less than or make a man feel like he doesn't have the power that he needs to be a man. So us as women sometimes need to look at the overall situation, step back and potentially you know, take a bit more of a submissive role within our relationships. Now, just because we take that role does not mean that we should be silenced, nor does that mean that we should just let them handle everything or whatever they say, be a yes woman. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that any woman should be a yes woman. Um, Just like I don't believe any man should be a yes man. I think relationships... Um, you have conflict in relationships and I think it's okay as long as it's a healthy conflict Um, and for everybody's voice everyone's voice should be heard I don't believe in being submissive to the point that I'm not being heard nor do you care about what I have to say I think that that is a problem in relationships nowadays so for the ones that are like that and I think it causes problems later on down the road road but as far as what Jeannie was saying, for the most part, I kind of saw what she was saying and I get it. Like she's a very strong, dependent, independent woman um, on every other aspect of her life. But within her marriage, she wants to be submissive. And I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with that because she even explained what submissive meant to her and not that she's going to just turn into some kind of yes woman. No, um, but you know, that you, it's hard to say, but I just don't feel like we really need to argue all the time. We don't have to argue all the time. Sometimes it's okay to say yes. Sometimes it's okay to be like, babe, you take the lead. And as I've gotten older, I've been married, I've gotten divorced. Um, I've been in several relationships. Um, as I've learned relationships and have grown into the woman that I am now, um, I understand that it's okay. And I'm, I'm enjoying like, you know, saying, yes, babe, like, okay, well, I want whatever you want, because I want to, you're the man of the house, or you're the man, you know, you're, you're the one that I need to follow and listen to. So I just be like, yeah, and I've enjoyed it. I'm never gonna lie. Now, when I want to say no, I say no, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't feel like there's any harm in it. I think, uh, stroking your man's ego, uh, does wonders sometimes <laughs> and at the same time like uh, my friend in cheek by neek who's another content creator here on youtube she also said that you know she feels that men stroke our egos as well and i guess in some aspects they do uh, i don't find that they necessarily do it as much as we do i feel that us as females stroke their egos way more than what they stroke ours but um I like my man to feel like he's the man. I want my man to walk around with his head held high and feel like I'm his woman by his side. There is no other man that's going to be able to come in between this relationship because you've got me, I've got you. You know, I'm your ride or die. I I like my man to believe that, to think that um, I like my man to feel like a man in the relationship. And I like my man to feel like he is valued and he's important in my relationships. So I said all that to say that I don't necessarily think there's that much of an issue with us being submissive when it comes to a marriage um, in a relation or in a serious relationship. Um, I think that there are times... And I believe this. I honestly believe that there are times when you can be submissive and there's times when you can be a dominant. And you just need to choose your timing correctly. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick just to explain my stance on that because that has been a big thing that's been going around. Everyone's talking about it. And I just wanted to say my piece on it too. Um, It's been a long day. I had a long, busy work day. As you guys know, I didn't really get much footage today. So we're definitely having this little talk right now. But... um, that's pretty much it for the day. I'm about to shower, get in the bed and start my day again tomorrow with more work. <laughs>
days. But we're getting through Vlogtober. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I am going to complete Vlogtober, hopefully. It's still early, but I'm trying. All right, guys, I will catch you tomorrow. See you later and catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.